They call her their miracle baby. Born after June and John Rigney had just about given up hope. With all of the extra help that we had to have and so forth, yes, it is a very blessed event for us. Made possible because of an investigational procedure developed by a team of fertility specialists at Community Hospital North, Indianapolis. Their process of in vitro fertilization uses frozen eggs and avoids the ethical dilemma of what to do with unused frozen embryos. I happen to believe, as many people do, that life begins at conception so that when we freeze embryos, uh, then we're freezing a living being. Until now, freezing eggs presented major scientific problems. Freezing and unfreezing destroyed them. And right now, out of the first 12 patients we've transferred on, four of them have gotten pregnant. Beth Shorter is one of them. Yes, the two heads, I don't know. When Beth was unable to conceive because of a medical condition, she and her husband Brian tried in vitro. Ten of her eggs were harvested. Five were inseminated. The other five were frozen. When she failed to get pregnant, the procedure was repeated, this time using her frozen eggs. I thought our odds are not very good, but yet we ended up with twins. Two. <laughs> I will have our hands full, literally. Doctors say the process offers new options for women who want to delay pregnancy. Women who, let's say, are in their 20s or 30s, in a career, not married, then theoretically you could freeze eggs for them earlier in life. It offers new hope for women facing serious illness. For women who have um, malignancies that um, are going to have their ovaries damaged by the treatment. Another benefit comes from expanding the limits of science. We've learned so much more about the physiology of reproduction that we can now translate to our patients who are using ovulation induction. There are a lot of things we've learned to reduce the risk of miscarriage for people who have recurrent pregnancy loss with them. But the greatest benefit, they say, is in the lives of their patients with each new life brought into the world.